Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, it's just going to be a uh, standard charity shop haul. Um, I got enough today to do a video, so I thought I would do um, a quick video for you. So without further ado, I'm just going to get straight on with the haul. So uh, first off was this uh, sort of posable bullseye figure. I was trying to think of the name then. Um, as you can see there, hopefully you can see, um, I paid $2.29 for that. Now, I have sold one of these before. It was a while ago, but I did get about 15 quid for that. I'm not sure whether it was free post or, pay, you know, plus the postage on. Um, but, yeah, I did I did just quickly check prices. They seem to have come down a little bit, but I have seen this one still sell. Uh, I believe it was in March for around that £15. So what I might do is be tempted to put this on high at that sort of £15 mark, probably free post and uh, yeah hopefully it'll sell it might take a little bit of time though uh, because obviously there are others on there's more on these days or what I might do is wait until uh, I go around the car boot and maybe see some other Toy Story figures and then if I can pick them up for maybe 50p a piece I'll do some sort of job lot maybe for 20 25 30 quid something like that so yeah that one there couldn't uh, couldn't refuse picking that one up I think it is a uh, Disney one uh, I'm not too sure. It's copyright Disney Pixar, so it's obviously a licensed one. Um, and then it just says China on it. But yeah, I have had those before. They're worth picking up, certainly for 50p a pound. Maybe £2.29 is a little bit much. But uh, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't really say no to that. So yeah, that's that one. Uh, next, I got this. This is a pretty good pickup, actually. I got this uh, brand new and sealed uh, Magical mu Musicals uh, DVD box set. I'm not going to be sending it into Amazon. I'm going to actually put this on eBay. Um, I've seen it go in January for 35 quid. Now, ever since that date, uh, they seem to have gone brand new for a little bit less. However, there's only one listed for brand new and sealed, and they've they've shot for the moon at about 60, 65 quid. So I think I, I did pay. 650 uh, for this. I don't know if you can see on there, but um, I did pay 650 for it. But I thought, even if you know I can just match that 35 quid, I should be able to get that because it has sold for that in the past. Even if I again might have to wait a little bit, but um, yeah, I thought I'm gonna definitely pick that up for that sort of price. As I say, I'm not sending it into Amazon. I might double check the rank on Camel, but it didn't look like a particularly good rank to me on uh, my phone so that's just why really um, but yeah pretty cool pick up that so hopefully should get 35 quid 30 quid minimum um, but I might shoot a little bit higher than that and just wait it out so yeah that one's pretty cool and then finally I got a job lot of uh, die cast toys there's quite a few die cast well there's probably about 10 to 15 maybe something like that um, and I got it for uh, £20, it was in a little box, and uh, I made a offer of £20, which was pretty much the most I could pay. It's a charity shop that I've, you know, I've known my manager in there for a while, so I always give them a fair price, I always give them the max I can pay. Um, and yeah, there's, there's some okay die cast in here, but without further ado, I will uh, share them with you now. So... There is uh, this, I think this is a, I've had most of these before actually, I've sold most of these before in when I've had big lots of, big lots of die cast from the auction. Um, this is a K3, where is it now, K3 Bedford TM, I don't know, let's check on here. Ah, here it is, uh, it's a K10 car transporter, I'm assuming this is maybe a K3 uh, little sort of big lorry part of it i don't even know what you call it little cab or something lorry cab um but yeah so this together i've seen it go for maximum 10 quid that's including postage so not a lot of money really i think i've sold very similar ones to these as well in the past um but yeah 10 quid anyway it helps pay pay for the job lot overall um another one here this is a little bit better again i think i've had very very similar to this it's a K k10 transporter again i believe yeah um, and this has got branding on it of Carrier. Um, don't know if you can see there this branding Carrier. Um, but yeah, I've seen this go for 15 quid plus postage, so that's a little bit better. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, 
I've got this one here, which I actually sold like yesterday, so it was really weird how I found another one so quickly. Um, this is actually dinky. Uh, generally, like these die casts, um, you know, these older die casts that are metal, dinky is better than corgi. But obviously, you know, there's some corgi that are better than dinky. It's really hit or miss. But at the same time, generally what I've found is a lot of the dinky ones um, go better than the corgi ones. You know, that's just kind of what I've found uh, from my own experience. But as I say, it, there's various different ones that are better in corgi than dinky. And it really depends on the model and stuff. But uh, this is a dinky toy, Johnson, uh, Johnston uh, Road Sweeper. Uh, it looks complete to me. We've got this little sort of hose here of some sort. Uh, I think it's complete. I don't think there's anything else that's uh, actually meant to be on it here. It's in a little bit of a play-worn state, but to be honest, I've seen die-cast much, much worse than this. So, uh, certainly fine to be sold individually. Not not at all a job lot, uh, a job lot, job lot job or anything like that. Um, you can see under here... It's got like the road sweeper on it under there, the little sweeper, the little sort of uh, brush type thing under there that sweeps the road. Uh, pretty cool little die cast, probably going to shoot for about 15 plus postage on that, maybe a little bit more, maybe I could get maybe 20, um, but I sold, the other, one, the other one I sold the other day was like, I think 16, 17 quid all in, so I'm probably going to shoot for about 15 plus post, so not bad, you know, nice little item there. Um, Next is a, I can never pronounce this brand, I think it's Burag, Burugo or something, B-U-R-A-G-O, Burugo, Burugo, I don't know, um, but it's a Land Rover, it's a 124 scale, and it's got this sort of uh, Trans-American Tour branding on it, I think it is, um, now I've seen... I've just literally been on uh, to research this, and I've seen a lot of the 1 to 48 scale, I think it is, uh, you know, been selling on eBay, but I've not really seen any of the 124 scale. However, there is one on that's actually in box condition, so a bit, be bit better condition than this um, overall, and it's on for like £20 all in, so about, it's like £17 plus post. Um, so yeah, I think maybe just, you know, because it's unboxed, maybe £10 plus my postage and just see from there, really. Hopefully someone picks it off for that, but yeah, that's that one anyway. Um, what else? Oh, we've got, this is like the best one, really, uh, which I was kind of thinking it might be because it's Britons, and Britons always does well, or a lot of the stuff from Britons does well, the vintage stuff. Um, it isn't metal, it is actually plastic. Well, actually, there is a little bit of metal on here. Is this metal? That might might be metal or it might be plastic, but this bit here is the drum bit here is certainly plastic. I think the wheels are plastic as well. Um, but yeah, I've seen this go for twenty quid plus postage. I don't know what the actual name is, so that then you know. Um, I think it's Magirus Dues Ivico. Um, so I don't know. L looks like some of that names in French there, but. Yeah, pretty cool. I've seen it go for £20 plus postage. There is one on at the moment on auction, and there's none of us sold, so I might be tempted just by looking at the sort of the ratio of, you know, the amount that's on, the amount that's sold, all that sort of stuff. I might be tempted just to go a little bit higher, maybe 25 plus post, even maybe try for 30 plus post, and then maybe just work my way down. And if I have to sell it for 20 plus post, then I'm happy, but obviously it's always best to try and shoot a little bit higher and get a little bit more for your items. So I might be shooting for maybe 25 plus post or something on that one, but yeah, quite cool. Got some... Uh, stickers or something on it as well to either side there so that's pretty cool um and then i think there's a few other different ones i didn't research this one but i've had um one very very similar to this this is uh, i think it's lesney this one uh no this is britain's actually um it's an swb land rover and I think I've had a blue one of these from Britons, but a bigger one. Um, and I think I got about fifteen pound plus post for that. But don't know on about I don't know about this one. Now it does have. I don't I don't know whether this is the right trailer for it because the green doesn't match up. However, don't know whether you can see that it does look like you know that just fits on there quite easy. So I'm I'm not sure, but the green colour doesn't match up. So I'm not convinced that that is particularly the right trailer. It is Britons. Um, tipping trailer, so I don't know, maybe they could go together anyway as kind of like a, 
semi all right pair just my own little concoction um but yeah i don't know maybe if i did put them together probably like 10 pound plus post in the condition we're in maybe 15 um but i don't know singularly on that probably about a tenner maybe just less actually but i'd have to research that one but yeah anyway that's those two um we've got this thing here which is britain's again it's like a little trailer it is actually metal this one um, but it is missing quite a few items on there. Um, as far as my research, when I was looking on eBay, there's loads of different other plastic attachments that's meant to go on here. So I'll be lucky to get about five plus postage out of that really in its current state. But still, I'll probably list it. Or if I don't list it, I'll just bung it away. And then when I get some other less great die cast i'll bundle them all together and just do a job lot on auction to get them out that way but yeah i might list that be tempted to list that but yeah that's that i've got this one here which is a I, i've not researched this one actually it's a corgi major toys articulated horse box um yeah what else um, articulated uh, bedford bedford tractor unit on, on the uh, end here um, but yeah, I don't know. I've not researched this again, but I'm, I'm assuming not really any more than 15 quid. Actually, you know what? I'll quickly do a bit of research on this and I'll cut the video and then come back in a sec. Yeah, so I've just had a quick look on auction, uh, not on auction, on sold listings. There have, there's been a lot that have gone on auction um, for like just below a tenner plus the postage. So I'm thinking maybe 10 or 15 quid. There isn't any on at the moment though, so I'm, I could maybe shoot a little bit higher and just see if I get it and then just work my, you know, work the price down over time. Um, but yeah, it is quite cool actually that. Um, but, you know, not loads and loads of value. And then um, we've got this one over here which i think i might have had before i don't think it's worth a lot again probably be about a tenner uh, i can't see it be worth a lot more than that because as i say i have had it before i think i've had it before and i don't think i was too impressed with the value when i had it then so this is like a uh, animal transporter or something i don't know whether it's for cows or something not too sure but it's some sort of animal transporter as you can see there, there's a little picture of a bull or something on there. Um, and then it's obviously got the little unit there, the little truck unit. Um, so yeah, don't know. But again, it's not going to be a lot of money because, as I say, I've had that before and I don't think it was great money when I last had it. Um, and then finally, there's just a few other bits and bobs. This wasn't coming up at much money. Corgi Revo Pack Refuse, Refuse Collector. It was coming up at below a tenner, so not a lot. Um, I've not researched this one, but it's a plasticky one. Uh, it is Matchbox. It's uh, Super Kings. Don't think it's going to be a lot, but I would have to double check on that one. Um, I can't see it being a lot though. More the more desirable ones are usually the diecast metal ones. And although this has got a metal front end here, it's got this plastic sort of container on the back there. So I don't think it's going to be that much money. Um, but you never know. Some sometimes he supplies you. Uh, and then I've got another couple of die-cast tractors here. I'll probably just do them two together. They do I don't think there's any branding on these. I can't see any branding. It says Rennell. Uh, oh, no, there, yeah, Britons. Oh, actually, that's Britons. Is that one Britons? Can't see on there if that's Britons. I don't think that's Britons. But this one is, so I might actually just do another bit more research on this one because... Uh, that one might be something special, actually, well, I say something special, it might be 15 quid, something like that, but, um, yeah, it's got Rennell on it, and uh, it's got Britons on the wheels there, so that's pretty cool, actually, so, yeah, that's cool, but that one, I think this is just unbranded, or, if it is branded, I can't see the brand name on it anywhere, so it's probably not going to be a lot, probably just job lot that, so, uh, yeah, that's that, and then I've got... A few other like miscellaneous little cars here. It looks like some of these are a little set actually. Um, Super GT Max but Matchbox. So we've got a few of these. I think these are all Super GT. Yeah, Super GT, Super GT. So they might go as a little bundle actually because I've got I've got like four of these. So I don't know. I might be able to get a tenner out of these little Super G. You know, four of these little Super GT GT cars if I can even say it. Um, so yeah, that's those. And that's all the die cast. So I don't know. There's there's some good money there, I would imagine, from my 20 quid. 
as I say, uh, I kind of paid the maximum I felt comfortable paying because I didn't realise uh, some of them were worth what they were worth. I didn't do a loads of research in the shop, um, but I, you know, I made him a fair offer on what there was there. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do okay out of them. I think I'm going to make some good money out of them. So uh, without further ado, I will close up the video now because I need to go ahead and get some of his stuff listed. So if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a like down below, guys. And I will see you in the next video. I'll probably do a sales update or something like that next. So I'll see you very soon, guys.